so hi all this is sachin sachin vc welcome back to my youtube channel uh, sachin uh, so this is the second video in the family creation playlist with the same excitement so uh, today we are going to create one family that is automatic door so the concept is when the object comes nearer to the door means the door will open automatically automatically then the object can move forward and the door will close automatically so that's what we are going to do i will add one preview here Mm, and uh, so far i am seeing some families like just like a generic family i mean it's in a deadly manner if you place one door means every time it will be a closed situation so if you're if you are showing this door to some client or some presentation wise it will be more beautiful if you if it is opening automatically they then you can show to your client it will be more interesting and more excitement so that's what the thing uh, that's what the logic that's what the concept behind this family so let's start the cooking so uh, initially i'm going to start the family from the scratch so i'm choosing metric generic model with the wall base click ok so before going to the family creation i will show you the concept uh, i hope you can see my blue beam so this is what the concept behind it uh, so you can see one object a wheelchair so if the wheelchair comes nearer to the door means the door swing will open that means door will move this side one to the left side another one to the uh, right side something like this and the object will move forward and the door will close close automatically so that's what the concept we are planning so same the way if the object means this door will move this side and this door will move this side so it will be something like more interesting for me so on this location this is known as area of working on this uh, location the family will start uh, working as a parametric family and this will be the portion for uh, door opening and this will be the portion for door closing so that's what the concept behind it so let's start the cooking mm. so again back to rubet once again uh, so first uh, what i'm going to create i'm going to create one cutout for the door opening for that one i'm first i'm duplicating the reference plane for that one go to the create tab under that you will find the reference plane so click on the reference plane so i am keeping as a 600 mm on the left side and 600 mm on the right side total one two double zero so I am using the pick line option I am picking and I am providing same descent. So we have the total descent so 1 2 triple 0. Then I am providing the EQ constraint also just for my convenience I am providing the EQ constraint. And the height of the cut opening is I am maintaining as a uh, true triple 0 2000. So for that one again go to the create tab using the reference plane mm, pick option. So I am keeping as a 2000 and pick pick a line so picking so this is what our cut plane so for providing the cut plane go to the create tab under that you will find the opening so click on the opening just using the rectangle or using the pick line we can draw so right now i'm pick using the rectangle and i'm drawing one opening and after that just lock with the just lock with the reference plane Okay, then tick so that in the 3d you can see the opening here so we have created the opening the next thing is we need to create one door family uh, for appearance i am going to create one glass family so for that one uh, i'm using a separate family i'm going to create one nested family actually for that one go to the uh, create a file tab new then family here i am using the metric generic model click ok so here first first thing uh, we are going to okay, initially i am setting the family category as uh, door door click ok and i just need to save the file the desktop i am saving <laughs> i mean let me say class door so next is i am going to create one door family for that one uh, i just save the file so the size of the door i am keeping as a 650 by 200 so for that one go to the create tab reference plane uh, so 325 apart so 325 325 total 650 then height is at 2000 so go to the create tab extrusion 
I'm just draw one rectangle. Click OK. I'm just locking the uh, boundary line with the reference plane and click OK. And I'm maintaining the thickness as 10 mm in the sense 1 cm. OK is fine. So for better appearance, I'm changing the material as glass. Glass, click OK. And I'm just load into the project. So we just loaded the door family into our current family that is it's just like a next year family actually. So first I need to place the door exactly on the wall. For that one I am going to duplicate the reference plane. So again go to the create tab reference plane. Mm, reference plane. So 650 is the door thickness. So I am keeping the 650 and I am just keeping it apart so just do the dimensioning 650 it's fine so again 650 fine so you can stay I'm providing and I'm going to add the door here CM so this is the door just aligning with the wall face with this one lock this one and again aligning with the roughness frame with the edge of the door and lock and here also do the same thing mirror that thing mirror the door and align to the reference plane click and align to the face of the wall with the door and right now we have placed two doors having the dimension of 60, 650 by 200 as you can see in the 3d view so why we provide the reference plane and aligning and locking means if i move this reference plane mean the door will open you can see here so this is a concept we are going to explore today so yeah so again back to the normal position okay and again going to duplicate the reference plane so create similar cs so 650 650 so this will be the 650 distance and this will be the 650 <clears throat> so next is i'm going to create uh, the dimension as a parameters i mean labeling for that one click on the dimension click on the create parameter so from here i'm just mentioning as a distance distance door and so i'm keeping it as a instance parameter and click ok and same parameter i'm providing here also by using selection method okay so next thing is i'm going to add the object uh, as we said now like uh, some object will come then that time only the door will open so next thing is i'm going to add one object uh, i mean as we discussed earlier we will add one wheelchair here so if the wheelchair move front means the door will open automatically that's what the concept so i'm going to add the fa another family just like a next thing so go to the uh, family so so i am just loading the family here so i am keeping as center as possible so again load into project so keeping here so i have added the object next thing is i just need to check the dimension for that one da from the door to the center of the object i am providing the dimension so it seems like 1317 so again i am going to label this dimension also label so distance ob object keeping as instance parameter click ok yeah and we create the parameter for the distance of ob so next thing is actually it's a logic so i will open the 3d view as well as the uh, fold plan so here you can see if the wheelchair move front i mean the distance of ob is decreasing means uh, the distance of dr also need to be decreased so i need to create one parametric relation between these two parameters distance ob and distance dr so back to the family type once again so the relation is very simple uh, it's d sorry distance dr is the half of the distance op so i'm just copying this value paste it here 
by 2 click ok okay so again if I move this in front means the door is opening automatic that you can see here yeah it's working actually <laughs> and if the move further means again the door is closing so the family is fine actually but the thing is if the object move further means the door get overlapping it's clashing actually so it's a weird thing right so i just need to create one more formula i mean if statement i'm going to add that part we are going to discuss on the next phase i mean in this video only so again go back to the so <clears throat> i'm going, going to create one formula as zone distance type click ok so i'm co cutting this value and paste it here click apply okay again go to the family type so right now we have created the zone distance as a new parameter and i provide it as distance ob divided by 2 okay next thing is i'm going to create one if statement uh, if statement in the sense uh, yeah i will open one blue beam for better clarity so here you can see the uh, symbolic representation so here at uh, you can see two catches so this is known as zone area on this particular zone i just need to consider this equation the distance dr is equal to distance ob divided by 2 that that is only ap applicable for this location other than this apart from two these two point <coughs> apart from these two hatched location i mean here and here here wherever it is it will show the value of 650 only so i am going to create one if a statement so actually i have created one video regarding the if a statement i will provide the link over here so you can check it out once it's <laughs> yeah like so this is the equation so distance ob less than 1300 is known as condition if the condition is okay i mean the condition is fine means it will catch the zone distance true so if it is false mean uh, the distance dr will be maintained as 650 only that means the distance ob less than 1300 means it will be comes under this hatched position so the equation is very simple actually like if the object is within the hatched position means it will catch the zone distance that means half of the distance ob otherwise it will maintain as a 650 only that is the if else statement concept so same thing i am going to add here so i'm just copy and I'm going to paste it here. Click OK. So you can see if the object is moved further means if it is a more than 1300 means nothing will happen to the door. It will maintain as a 650 only. You can see here. So if the object is within the zone limit, I mean 1300 means the door will start opening. and if it is beyond the zone means with the value is more than 1300 the distance ob is more than 1300 means it will be maintained as a false statement and the value will be 650 only so we almost completed the parametric a formula creation after that again back to family click on the object i mean the wheelchair just untick the visibility and the family portion is completed i'm just saving so next step is i'm going to load the item into the project so go to the file new project i have opened one project uh, so using the wall architecture command i am drawing one wall architecture um, and after that again go to the family then load the family into the project so i am loading the family uh, so i am placing it here so again select and go to the bx so right now you can see we loaded the family into the project and place it in a wall if you select the door means you will find the distance ob distance dr so on distance every parameter is indicated why because it's an instance parameter so next step is i just need to load the object i mean the wheelchair into the family so i'm just loading the pro family into the project here so i'm placing here and the same way I am providing the dimension 
di okay i have provided the dimension also the next step is i need to create a new parameter the parameter in sense is this is a project file right so we are going to create the global parameter so select on the dimension click on the create parameter and here i am going to create ob distance and ticking on the reporting parameter click ok so we have created a new parameters next step is click on the door and you will find the distance over here so for this parameter i am giving a associative global parameter here for the button click on the associative parameter right here just click on here so just pick the value here so that both value is equated and and the next step is we need to verify the family is working or not for the button click on the object in the floor plan just using the keyboard arrow key just move forward so that you can see that the door is opening so it's fine and again it's moving further so that the door is closing so it's working right so all good it's working actually so so that's it from my side guys so this is a family which i created right now so i hope you guys enjoy this video so try it out once and let me know your feedback in the comment section so this is sachin from sachvim channel thank you guys and bye